So yesterday, my uh, 15-year-old nephew asked me, uh, Uncle, how do I get motivated? And I was really puzzled because he's 15 years old. He's doing. He's a really smart kid, has uh, really good grades, doesn't have a job, plays video games, you know, just like a, a I would say, uh, a happy, smart uh, kid. But I can't really relate to that. Um, at all that's that's what i thought like how do i get motivated and i remember when we as a family came to canada i was 11 years old and we <laughs> we were buying uh cutlery and uh, and dishes at at the garage sale and then when i went to school i remember this specific moment where i had sandwiches but all the other kids had the the uh, the juice boxes the ones uh the ones where you put the bendy straw in and have juice. And then I thought, why don't I have a juice box? But that's because the family didn't have money for what we call extras at the time. And and I never want to be that kid without the juice box again. So I think about that all the time, about that moment in life and in where we are. And in, I'm so grateful to have it because things like that drive me to grind every single day they develop that grit and then I have the discipline and I don't really need motivation because I have this strong why to continue to continue moving and it's because of these life experiences so really I think that motivation is is more of a uh, more of a temporary thing you can get motivated yes yeah let's go let's do it but finding your why and finding the reason and then like uh, for me a painful moment in life which turned out to be one of the greatest gifts that continue to drive me every single day so really and then for me I was working since I was uh, delivering newspapers working at uh, Harvey's and restaurants and Cineplex and since I was 11 years old so I don't really know that life about motivation we're always my dad always told us you want it you go get it right and he himself was a was a tremendously hard worker so when we came to Canada he's a professional engineer in Poland and he came and he worked in a factory for for three months and delivered pizzas at night and then he showed us how he can transform how he can get his png designation in canada how he can start being a draftsman and then and then so on so so really wanted to share that with you because it's a it's a special thing i think about that uh, all the time i never want to be that again that's what drives me to wake up every day and then grind and i love it